if I can't get Gwen to sign those papers, to get Jonathan the treatment he needs, my son could die in there. I know, he I know, could... I know, I know, I know, but I don't want you to worry, okay? Because we're going to convince her to sign those forms. I mean, even if we have to knock her out and forge her signature, Jonathan will get the help he needs. Ethan? Julian, what do you, what do you want? Well, I came back here at risk to life and limb to find out how the baby's doing. I wanted to give Eve some good news about his condition. She's absolutely devastated that she accidentally overprescribed his fever medication. Look I, look, I understand that Eve made a mistake. But that uh, mega dose of acetaminophen that was given to my son has caused him liver damage, Julian. God, no. If he isn't treated soon, he, he's going to die. <laughs> I had no idea the situation was this grave. Well, it has become grave. And on top of everything else, Gwen won't give her consent so that the doctor can actually treat Jonathan. Why? She thinks that uh, the doctor's going to make things even worse. I suppose it wouldn't help matters if I asked Eve to speak to Gwen. Julian, Gwen would probably kill Eve if she saw her right now and... I gotta be honest with you, I don't know if I'd stop her. I know how upset you are, Ethan, but you really must... You must know that Eve would rather take her own life than to see your son lose his because of a mistake she made. Julian, Eve's guilt is not even on my mind right now. My mind is on my son in there. All right, well, if, uh, if you need anything... Thank you, but please, please just go. You know what? Maybe if we if we go to her as you know as parents, we can convince her to give her consent to treat Jonathan. Stay out of my business, Teresa. Jonathan is my son. You have no say whatsoever in his medical care, and frankly, neither do you. I will decide what is best for Jonathan. Even if what you decide kills him, 